Sometimes you start designing a thing and it gets away from you. Yeah, that's nine inches wide by 32 and some odd inches long. I don't think I was paying attention when I was figuring out how large the name should be. I really like it though. It's another homage because that's really all I can do. Um, so I'm either going to rethink this or go looking for a really long piece of fabric. Okay, carry on. Hey everybody, it is Sunday, June the 25th. And guess what I'm restarting? Yeah. Um, the more I looked at the uneven weave today, the more I hated it, the more I was worried. I was absolutely sure I didn't have enough of that charcoal to do the raven in the middle. Wanted the raven to be the same color as the rest. Uh, back and forth. So guess what we're back to? Yep. I'm going to use the same linen that I used for Salem Cemetery. We're black, back to using 310 for black. I've got the two silks for the accent colors. So there. Um, I spent most of the day designing a new pattern. Kind of got away from me. Actually, you probably saw the video clip of that just before this. So, I went ahead and ordered a hank of black silk from Silks For You. That should be here in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks, I should maybe have that pattern scaled down a bit, or at the very least, I will have located a big honking piece of fabric to do it on. I must be crazy, but there's no way that I can stitch... Salem remembered. And I like how it came out. And that piece is definitely going to last me for the rest of the Salem Sal and probably well into Halloween, which I kind of like. So, yeah. I am going to get started on this and watch some floss tube. I see that uh, Mortuary Stitches has put up a new video a couple hours ago. I have to get in on that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Not bad for a start. This is, this is actually a lot smaller than I even thought it was when I thought it was smaller than I thought it was the first time. I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, still finding now the even weave less, uh, not even weave, the linen less square than I would like it to be, but I give up. I'm just going to stitch. I'm going to stitch and it's going to come out fine and the sun's going to come up tomorrow and garbage collection will continue as normal. The world will be fine. I'm going to bed. Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, look what I'm back at doing. I kind of got re-inspired to come back to Death by Cross Stitch for a little while. Because today I saw that Long Dog Sampler has a new pattern out. And it's amazing. And I can't have it until I finish this. I'm only on page three. <laughs> so I have to put some more time into this. So I think tonight will be Death by Cross Stitch. Sitting in here, I think when I go into bed, excuse me, I'm gonna wiggle. Itchy nose, even an itchy nose when I don't have the camera on me. Um. I think when I go into bed, I will stitch on my Salem piece. 
And that is how I'll do it. Or at least until it gets just too damn hot in here to, uh, to not be in the air conditioning. And I actually set up the camera to record the time lapse. And then I realized I wasn't doing any particularly interesting motif. Who wants to watch me stitch another damn bird? So I'm not going to record that. So that's my night. Talk to you later. All right, it's too hot in here to fool around with this thing anymore. So I'm going to go stitch in the other room. Um, I think I had a small revelation. You see the bottom of the bird, the coverage is a little better than the top. I've always been adjusting my attention by maybe making it a little tighter, thinking that that would make the stitches lay flatter. But the bottom of the bird, I just sort of kept them loose and they seem... The coverage is better. It may be a little... Oh, I don't really have a light on. Um, they may be a little fuzzier, but the coverage looks better. So, you know, when we're back here at a respectful distance, that doesn't look half bad. Um, you can also see why I'm stopping. The frogging happened up there. Um, stupid backstitching. All right, I'm going to go do Salem. Bye. Hey, socks. Psst. Socks, you're a meatball. You don't even care. Hey, guys. It's Tuesday night. Um... June the 27th. Ooh, do you hear the thunder? Um, they've been threatening thunder and lightning storms all night, but it only just started to thunder now. So maybe we'll have a good light show later, but for now, I figured I would just sit and stitch, work on my, my Salem Sal. So much rumbling. Um, I didn't film this last night. I did, uh, I think this whole motif here and the two little guys. And I finished the band coming down here. So I got a lot done last night after working on Death by Cross Stitch. Of course, now I'm obsessed with that again because I want to do the new pattern and I'm not even like a third of the way done with the old pattern. But whatever, it's what we do. Uh, so hopefully tonight there's a bat that goes up here, so I think I'd like to finish him. You know, before the lights go out. See how it goes. Bye. Mission accomplished. Got the little bat done. Um, I'm not thrilled with how he came out. I'm literally stitching by braille in here. I didn't bring in my little clip light and I'm like, well, you know, I can see enough. I really can't. So I'm done for the night. And somebody just walked in the room and he didn't bring me coffee. Ugh. I'll have to talk to him about that. Oh, now he looks guilty. Okay, bye. It is Wednesday, June 28th, and I don't think I realized how much I missed working on Death by Cross Stitch. I managed to finish my, uh, my bird, I did a fishy, I did a little bit down here, did this bit here. <sighs> it was so soothing. I love the little finishes. Still wish I had used more purple, but you know what? I don't know. I might... I might do some more. I mean, it wouldn't kill me to pull out the heads of all the flowers and put them all in, in, uh, in the variegated. And... 
I mean, it wouldn't take forever to, like, you know, pull out that flower and do it in the variegated. But we'll see. My husband just came in to check on me because I hadn't come up for air all night. And he was flipping through the pattern and just losing his mind. <laughs> he says, I'm crazy to do this. And crazy to be considering doing this. Oh dear, do you hear yelling out there? I think she's yelling at her dog. So much yelling. Okay, I'm gonna go find out what's going on in the neighborhood. I will talk to you later. Good night. Hey there, it is Thursday, June the 29th, and I'm working on the damn bluebirds again. I don't know what's gotten into me. I do know what's gotten into me. I'm stitching in a room that has bad lighting, and the 28 count even weave is really easy to see. Um, I don't know, I think at this point the my Salem stitch along piece... I don't even know. I have to take it out under the light and look at it. It could be irreparable. I really think the the 32 count linen in this light, I just can't see. I'm guessing I am stitching by braille. Not recommended. Not recommended. Um So yeah, I got to pull myself together there. Have to keep this in frame. Um I did get a message today that my heaven and earth order has shipped and I she's having a fabric sale so I took advantage of that to get some big pieces of Lugana did I get an Ada I might have gotten an Ada and some needles needed them needed some big pieces I um I don't know if I took a video of the Salem piece that I I won't say designed because it's very, very close to a primitive needle design, but it's kind of my version of it because I don't have the real version. So, um, another homage, but it's very, very long. Um, probably about, I think, 34 inches with the border. So it's long. So I needed some fabric. I actually got scared today because I got an email saying that, um... Heaven and Earth had refunded my PayPal money, and I was all sad and upset and thought something had gone wrong. Nope, they, they refunded me some shipping because the shipping didn't come to the 10 whatever that it, it had quoted. Very classy. Very cool. I like that in a company. Um, so yeah, that should be here soon. I have a hank of black silk coming from Silks For You. And then I'm not allowed to buy another damn thing for, let's say, a month or so. My husband would probably say two months, but, you know, <laughs> tell him. All right, I should sleep because I'm not making any sense. And there is really only so long you can stare at this blue blob of stitching. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, it's Friday, June the 30th, and I've just been doing some test stitching for my homage to the uh, Primitive Needles Salem Remembered piece. I don't know, how do we feel? How do we feel about two over two? This is 28 count, not even weave. I've got two over two. And I've got one over one. I like the one over one and how it looks, but my hand got a cramp just making the O. So I don't know if I could do a whole piece that way. Kind of like to try though. I like how little it is. It's so dainty. Let's get all up in it. Come on. Oh, come on. You can focus. I know you can. I've seen
seen you do it. Focus. That's not focus, that's brightness. Oh, you're killing me, phone. All right, well. I could do this one over one. I mean, guys, seriously. Okay, now it's not going to focus on anything. Thank you. One over one, huh? That's fine. Whenever you're ready, technology. It's fine. Thank you. I don't know. I gotta keep thinking. I've got some fabric coming from... Oh, where did I order it from? Heaven and Earth Designs. They're having a sale. Maybe we'll see when that comes. And then there's the silk. And then I want to do the vines in variegated browns and greens. Yeah, this is gonna be badass. I gotta tell you, this is gonna be badass. All right, maybe I'll experiment more with this. Have a good night. Yeah, I think a decision has been made. One over one it is. Yeah, that looks nice. Pretty darn proud of myself. I'll fall off that horse soon enough. But for right now, this is nice. This I like. I skip too many threads between the N and the R. That's okay. This is just a test. I'm still not used to, uh, I'm not used to only skipping one thread for things. So that'll take some getting used to. But I like it. Oh my god, this is good. I'm actually going to be able to fit this on a reasonable size piece of uh, fabric. I might even be able to get it framed. Oh my lord, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Bye. I got some stitch email. I don't usually react viscerally to an announcement of a sale, but when they posted, hey, Heaven and Earth is having a fabric sale, I was like, I'm in. I was at work and I bought this stuff. I don't know what came over me. But I knew I was going to need a large piece for probably, well, I did need a large piece for my Salem design until I realized that I wanted to do one over one. And that's making it, obviously, significantly smaller. Let me, uh, sorry, wiggling the phone. This was my experiment last night. Look at that, Osborne. Oh, you just, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll probably hate it halfway through, but that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's Saturday, July the 1st. And I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm going to try to not spend any money today. I think stitching is the perfect way to do that. So we'll see. Talk to you later. Hey there, it is Saturday, July 1st. I don't know if I've done a video today. Yeah, I did. I did already do a little video. Anyway, this is another one. Um, this isn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it's not good, but I was pretty sure that that bat in the top right-hand corner was just not even where it needed to be, and it is. Um, the little bat's very lumpy. I don't know. I'm losing steam on this. I need something interesting. I should I should swap to the silks. Those will keep me interested. Um, but I had to come downstairs where the air conditioning is because it was just nasty upstairs. Um, watching some Ginger Gerald Stitcher and Henry. Hi, Henry. He's looking amazing. As is Gerald. Um... 
So that's about it for today. I'm going to stitch a while, go out around 5-ish, come home around 3 in the morning. That's my Saturday. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay. The big motif on the left and the little one below it. Wait, hold on, I'm wiggly here. This guy here and this guy here. They're low by one stitch. This piece is most vexing. Um, do I move it? Do I not move it? If I pick that out, the fabric underneath it's going to be gross. If I don't pick it out, it's going to bother me. I guess I'm picking it out. Fooey!